The nice thing about the harmonic percolator is it can be set to fairly extreme levels of clipping without completely obliterating the fundamental. And I think that's because of the asymmetrical clipping thing that I was talking about. Um, I wish I had a chalkboard right here because, number one, it would be a really good visual. And number two, I, would, I could draw the little waveform and show you what I was talking about. Um, but, uh, and the other thing that's nice about the harmonic percolator is, and I think this is why I got the name harmonic percolator, if you stroke harmonics on the guitar rather than fretted notes, um, those are much lower electrical signal coming out of the pickup, but the harmonic percolator has enough gain that it can make those like sort of compete in volume with your normal plucked notes. We'll listen to the original recipe and then I'll show you what this new box sounds like. This is an Interfax harmonic percolator. It's been around the world a couple of times and uh, uh, this was an actual made by the crazy dude in Milwaukee, Interfax harmonic percolator. There are several iterations of this device. There's a, um, there are those that were made by the crazy dude himself. There are those that were assembled from parts left by the crazy dude after he died. And those were made by a guitar shop called the Rock House in Milwaukee. And then there are several people who have done what they consider recreations of the, the um, harmonic percolator. Uh, but this is the one that I started out with, and this is, the, this is what I'm used to.